What's up, Red County? We're back again with another word cry. It's me, Cy Williams. And I'm Riley. We got some news again, too. Golf this past week, both teams, the girls and the boys, beat True at Villa Rica. Our boys beat their boys. Um, Sam Hubbard placed second with a 45. Jack finished third, and Jake Aubrey finished fourth, and I finished second on the girls' side. Track traveled to Gulf Shores and placed fifth. Baseball beat Landmark, and River White hit a home run. That's all. Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm here with Keenan. I'm going to be interviewing him about last Saturday's drumline competition. What did y'all do to practice? We started off by learning drill and um, music, and we learned them separately, and then we <clears throat> put them together, and then we like learned how to fold our floor and how to move our equipment efficiently. How do y'all think y'all did? Um, we did all right, but we still need a lot of work. When's the next competition? Um, next competition is not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Go Grants. Hi, I'm here with Miss Pinson. I'm gonna be asking her questions about the musical last Thursday. So, what was your favorite part of it? Oh, my, f there were a lot of great parts in the musical. Uh, this show was so uh, big name and large scale uh, from all the things we've done in the past. Um, but I think my favorite part had to be uh, our start of act two, the weekly volcano press. Um, it, a lot went into it. That was the first thing we practiced uh, leading up to this show because it was so complicated and had so many different moving parts. Um, but I believe that because we practiced it so much, um, it really became like one of the pillars of such a great show. So that's definitely another. Okay. What did y'all do to practice before, the days before? Oh man, um, so we auditioned in December um, and then picked up rehearsals starting in January. Uh, we rehearsed three days a week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Monday through Wednesday um, from 3.30 to 6. Uh, so we had a lot of practices um, leading up to this. We only had two months to prepare this since we started at the top of January, uh, which is a relatively short time um, compared to other uh, musicals that I've directed or music directed in the past. Um, but we got it done and I'm really proud of the end result. Um, we had a full day in the G-Pack where we stayed there and worked out all our lighting and sound issues. Um, we called it our tech day. Um, where we did dress rehearsals and stuff like that. So it was a lot of hard work and uh, rehearsals for these kids, so. Are there any plans for a future? Oh yeah, tons of plans. Um, in, we're gonna do another musical next spring. Uh, I'm not announcing it yet. It's gonna be a big reveal on our social medias um, coming up in the next month or two. Um, and then we're also, planning on competing again in the One Act competition in the fall, um, which I also am not announcing yet. Um, but it's sure to be a really fun show. Uh, I plan to have multiple show dates for the musical next year uh, because I got a lot of um, feedback about wanting multiple days uh, to have more opportunities to see the show um, for plenty of different people. We'll also probably do a school show uh, just for the students next year. Um, so that's something to look forward to. All right, that's my interview with Ms. Pinson. Go Braves. My name is Aubrey and I'm here with... Judge Porter. Um, how do you feel about Region coming up? I feel good about it. We start next week with Temple. Uh, and then I think the week after that we got Crawford County and then after spring break we got Lamar. Um, I feel good about it. I mean, I, I think we've been making strides and then getting better as the year went on. I think the other day against Landmark was one of the best games we played all year. Um, I think it would just be can we clean up some of the little things and kind of put all three phases, pitching and defense and hitting all together. Uh, and I think we'll be in a good spot for the region in the playoffs. Um, what are you doing to prepare for region? Uh, I mean, again, I, you know, this deep in the year, it's you're, you're not trying to like put in a lot of new stuff. It's as much um, just trying to kind of perfect the things we've been doing, and, and and the guys do a good job of that. Of of you don't want them to feel like pressured. Um, you know, want them to feel relaxed, but I guess at the same time you want them to feel enough pressure. Like, all right, we got to get it fixed. Uh, so just trying to clean up stuff, mistakes that we made in games, and, and kind of tune it up. And, and like I said, the guys have been doing a great job. Thank you. 
We have a lot of sports coming up, so there's a lot of opportunities for you to get out, get out and come and support the Braves. On March 20th, I'm playing a match at the Highlands for the Lady Granger Invitational, and JV Baseball is playing at Northside. March 21st, Baseball at Temple. March 22nd, Tennis versus Callaway, and JV Baseball versus Northside. March 23rd to the 27th, Wrestling to Virginia Beach Nationals. March 24th, Baseball versus Temple in a doubleheader. March 25th, Track at Mapleton, JV Baseball versus Pepperell. Now on to the Club Spotlight, which is Skills USA. Our Club Spotlight this week is on Skills USA. Skills USA, a partnership of students, teachers, plus industry working together to ensure America has a skilled workforce. Mr. Hill, Mr. Long, and Mr. Kerber are our advisors. See, in Skills, there's really something for everybody to do. You can compete in anything from community service, aesthetics, nail care, job interview, health care, cosmetology, culinary, video editing, construction, and even automotive servicing. And that's literally just to name a few. There's like a hundred different things that you can do. There is literally something for everyone. For me, I compete in extemporaneous speaking. Um, I got to go to region. I won region, got to go to state. Didn't do as well as I liked at state, but I, there was so many people that were really good there. So it was a great experience. We get to go on all these field trips. And then at state, it was like a huge job expo. And you could go and talk to all these different businesses. And like, I literally got to meet 10 or 15 different business people and they offered me jobs. And like all of our guys that were there got offered jobs too. So it's a great opportunity for you to set yourself up for success in your future career. So you should join this case. Now here, it's Jacob with the weather. Hello, Herd County. Hey, Shaker Mills here, back at it with the weather. This is my favorite part of the war crop. Don't tell nobody, but it's my favorite part, okay? <laughs> Monday, we have a high of 58 and a low of 39. It's going to be a little cloudy that day, so, you know, it might be a little chilly. Tuesday, we have a high of 55 and a low of 40, and it's going to be, we're going to have a light shower that day. Wednesday, we're going to have a high of 62 and a low of 42, and it's going to be partly cloudy again. Thursday, we have a high of 70 and a low of 54, and it's going to be partly cloudy again. Friday, we have a high, the highest of the week, with a high of 73 and a low of 54. Is we're going to have some light showers that day. Saturday, we have a high of 69 and a low of 58, and it's going to be partly cloudy. And Sunday, we have a high of 69 again with a low of 48, and it's going to be partly cloudy again. That's all, Hurt County. Thank you. Be <laughs> I just want to say. Hey guys, this <laughs> is Riley back with an announcement. Emergency announcement. Emergency announcement. High school cheer tryouts for football, basketball, and game Am day competition coming? are on Friday, March 31st at 3.15 to 5 in the old gym. But there's a mandatory parent meeting that your parents must be at or else you cannot try out on either March 23rd or the 27th at 5 o'clock in the media center. But, there's another but. If you wanna just come out, do some toe touches, learn the material, get your life together, there's optional open gyms on March 28th and 29th from 3 15 to 5 in the old gym. So if you're interested, go to either Mary Beth or Ashmore, ask you some questions, and then also you can pick up information and your interview application process in the front desk. And if you're at the middle school, that goes for you too. Love you, bye. Go Braves, go! This is a very important announcement. Emergency announcement. Our athlete of the week is... Rashad Burden. Easy, Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. We love you, we love you. He had a 12-foot pole vault and won first place at the Gulf Shores track. Hey. Proud of you. Have fun. Love you, Reggie. That's all, Hart County. We hope you have a great week. Make good choices. Live, love, laugh. Live, love, laugh. Till again.